Hey guys. So I'm doing um, some randomly ridiculous hour of the night readings. Um, just whoever I'm drawn to do. This will be for a Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. So always these readings are general. They're for the collective. So only take what resonates. Leave behind anything that doesn't. Remember that there's no gender in Tarot. I could pull a queen and be talking about a guy. If you need to book a private personal, the information is below in the description, as well as the pinned section of the comments. And I've also linked a friend's page there if you want to check her out. She's really great. Like, literally, I am not allowed to go to bed until I complete these. <laughs> But it's okay because for some reason these have just been really very powerful. Tell me about Gemini. What do you want them to know? Okay. We have Temperance as the overall energy. Justice. It's labor energy. Whoa. The sun. Leo energy. The queen of cups. Water energy. The knight of cups. The fool. Aquarius energy. The eight of wands. The world, the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, we have the Six of Cups. Hmm. So I, I'm not here to trigger anyone. I'm just taking these readings as obviously intuitively I feel they are. I am looking at a Gemini who really, really wants peace, uh, balance. The problem with this though is that I have a Gemini who is expecting happiness almost to come from an external thing. It's like always waiting for, you know, I don't know how to explain. It could be, you know, if this is very like love related, um, expecting that you know, the right person will just come along and offer you everything that you've ever been looking for and you'll live happily ever after. And there will be, you know, it'll just be this perfect idealized partner who will always be fair and the relationship will just be harmonious and it just requires you to take a leap and move forward. And you feel... Like what's lacking here is sort of the closure of a past situation that you're still holding on to. So there is this awareness that we're not in this Queen of Cups energy, which is a very like um, giving and loving and nurturing and emotional type of energy that we're more in this Queen of Swords energy, which of course, you know, is a Gemini energy, but of course, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't give what you're, you've been asking for. You know, you're looking for this Queen of Cups energy. Someone to nurture you and love you and, and make you happy. 
the problem here is that you didn't learn from this this past mistake. I feel like you handed that power over to this person as well. Now, for some of you, this isn't love. You know, you could just kind of always expect happiness to come from this external source. This job will make me happy. Um, you know, joining this community will make me happy. Basically... What I'm seeing is that I feel like you've been hurt a lot. That perhaps throughout life you've only really known chaos. You've never really known peace. That's why you're on this great search for it. And I feel like there is this optimism that you can get it. The, the problem here, specifically, that... You know, it's, this is almost like fantasy versus the reality. Just wish the divine would give me what I'm asking for, but at the same time, I still want it to be this person, though. Or at the same time, I still want it to be this job, though. But in reality testing, we already know that that's not the situation. It's like, the even if love or a love offer was the thing that you were missing, or this job and, the, and that offer from that job is what you were missing. You know, it's an, extort, it's an external validation and, you know, it may give you this gratification at the time, but it's, it's not, it can't be whatever this past thing is, no matter how hard you cling to it, the world is here. So it's it's sort of the divine saying a, a few things here. One is that there's some, you know, maybe experiences in your life that you're just still not healed from. Like you still hold on to those. They leave you in a very rigid place. So one of the things here is that, you know, maybe you're looking for just like connections in life or, you know, um, work that you really love to do, you're not really aligned with it. The energy that you're giving is the, the Queen of Swords, you know, um, which is still a good energy because the, the Queen of Swords does, you know, have, you know, very specific boundaries and it's extremely intelligent. But I think that what you're looking for involves you opening your heart chakra. And I feel like you closed that down a long time ago because, you know, the, the Gemini that I'm looking at didn't really have a fair life, if that makes sense. Um, what's interesting is that I, I do have a Gemini where maybe you even, maybe I said fantasy versus reality because... Maybe that's how you view it. You feel that happiness and, and love and joy and optimism and balance is a fantasy. And that you need to drop that and live in the reality, you know? And that's why you're in this kind of rigid place. So what I, what I see here, if we look at this the opposite way, is that the past really has you hold it, holding back and, and really guarded here. And if you sort of close out this situation, and, you know, this is the Six of Cups, so we're not talking about, you know, we're, I mean, we're talking about childhood here, right? So we're going further back maybe than you're even aware you need to dig. Um, if we close something out there that's when we can see the progress but if you if you look at this towards the other you know like in this backwards direction i feel that you have always been you know chasing not attracting and that's kind of something that there's almost like this difference there where it's like if you're chasing something, it's because you feel like you, you have to. You, you have to do more. 
in, in order for it to be yours, attracting is knowing that it is yours and just waiting for it to kind of come in. But I feel like mainly the point here is that you want to get to this place in life where you feel safe enough to be open and vulnerable and loving and actually not fear that connection or that lifestyle or that job, whatever it is that this relates to here. It's really not a fantasy, you know, but it really would require a lot of work. But it's, it, it really is, you know, work that you would have to do on your own part. I feel like you have lived this life that forced you to be very hard and rigid. And on the surface, you may look like that's what you are. You know, people may look at you and they respect you, you know, and they know that you have boundaries and they know not to cross you. But that's not really who you want to be. You want to be able to be in your soft, feminine energy and just be able to relax and re receive the love that you deserve. But the environment that you grew up in and the relationships that you've had since then have hardened you to this place where you're kind of just in the opposite energy of where you need to be to be aligned. So it's sort of like, you know, your feelings are 100% valid here. Like the reason that you're in this Queen of Swords energy, you know, no, nothing here is invalidating. Anybody would be there. But you, you kind of have to put the sword down <laughs> and align yourself to that energy. So you're going to have to learn how to soften yourself. And a lot of this is going to be releasing some type of trauma or many traumas. For some of you, you may not even know necessarily what to do with this and you kind of have to go and kind of like seek some help, you know? Um, and I feel like that would be a really good idea for a lot of people. But for more of you, it's, you know, maybe just really getting in touch with your emotions again. Some heart chakra exercises and meditations and things like that. But I feel like I'm, I'm looking at a Gemini that's had to like, like fight for survival their whole life. And they're just so tired. And they just, they just, you know, they just want to finally, for once in life, just get into this temperance Queen of Cups energy. <clears throat> but in order to do that, you kind of have to release, you know, whatever these things are here and, and be more optimistic about the future. Because like I said, I feel like, you know, this is the reality that you choose to live in and you feel like this is all just a fantasy. It's like you deeply desire it, but you don't feel like you'll ever see it in this lifetime. And actually that's, you know, that type of thinking will always manifest. So I'm not sure what it is that you want here in life. For a lot of you, it really is genuinely just to be loved for who you are. I don't think that that's ever happened. Like for who you just genuinely are without any effort being put in, without you having to do anything extra. And, um, it actually is very possible for you. But I do understand, you know, air signs really don't like to get in touch with their feelings. It's uncomfortable. They, it, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's not their element, you know. And at the same time, it's exactly what you need, you know. Because if you want, you know, especially if this is for the, the people that are really looking for like a genuine, like, love connection... And for a lot of you, it definitely is that, the Queen of Cups and, and the Knight of Cups. You know, you can't ask for something that wouldn't work for you. Um, you know, the, if you want somebody who's 
vulnerable and loving and caring and willing to do whatever to make you happy, you also have to be that person and for yourself too. So I feel like the, the journey that you're looking for here, it has to kind of start with the self love and kind of digging back into that vulnerable emotional side of yourself that I feel like you kind of had to hide away for all of your life. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. I'll see you soon.